And I was kind of, I think it's going to usurp. There's our big word of the day. Uh, I love Frostlich Jaina, and I love being greedy. Um, <laughs> now we get run over. Actually, now we get run over by Zoo. This is the only problem with our greedy play right now, is we lose to Zoo pretty hard unless we top deck amazingly. Actually, that's a, that's a scary one. Our opponent might be playing the same deck that we were, we've been playing recently. We're going to go for the ping here because we have a 3, we have a 4, we got a lot going on. Yeah, Herbert, our control warlock basically was... It had a couple known for Atus, a couple of those, um... Those, uh... Oh, what is it called? The spell that turns your, um... A card in your hand, your opponent's hand, into a demon's. That's really fun. Uh, we'll take a Rusty Recycler. I feel... I'm feeling... I'm feeling lucky right now. Uh, Sully, an email where you can send some intros. Mmm... You know what? I do need, like, a... A quote-unquote, like, work-related, a stream-related email. I don't have one right now. I need to look into that. Sully, can I get back to you about that? I'm going to make a note of that. Uh, I'll just call it stream related. Uh, stream, yeah, face, face, face. I don't have one. I need like a uh, Fujo business or something. I think that's going to be the... Uh, That'll be the name of the account. Oh, wow. Our opponent's going all in here. Our, we're, we are going up against Control Warlock, so that's going to be a little scary and a little fun. Uh, life Questioner. Um, the link, you're saying the LinkedIn thing is confusing? I guess we're doing this. I guess we're doing that. Fujo Business? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't wait to spam Fujo Business? That's okay, Life Questioner. We'll figure you out. We'll figure you out. A lot of people have that on their uh, YouTube about pages. We're like, for any business opportunities, contact me at. Um, so that's something I'll. Uh... Well, that's something. We'll... Wait, did they get? We we created the same ones. Our opponent and I. We could be best friends right now. Oh, that's incredible! Destroy your amazing spells. What a surprise! They're not Q block, uh, since no one is Q block anymore. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. Um. Hey, Demonic Project, what did they get? I missed what they got. Oh, Giggling Inventor, I am sorry. Uh, we're sorry. Oh, okay, we'll just threaten then, I guess. Threaten works. Uh, hand is full, we play the Astromancer. High roll. That is going to eat a Siphon Soul if I've ever seen it. Pretty fun for people who definitely get into it. Twisting? 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 Oh, so good. Now, if we had space, I would obviously play Lich King, but we do not. So now we get our uh, Frost Lich nice and early. Uh, life Questioner, you love Astromancer? It's a card you put into pre-Booms Day? You don't want to drop. Oh, yeah. That is... Um, that is a very common uh, thing, to be perfectly honest. Um, how are we getting to that one? I guess right now we aren't, is the issue. Oh, we can flood the board once more, though, I would argue. Um, no! Come on! Come on, myself! Um... I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> A bulldozer, the card that's played in Big Warrior? Yeah, it could be. Um, yeah, you know what, Luca? It's one of those things where it's like you just have to kind of trust in yourself. Um, you, you have to kind of trust in yourself the fact that if you've made it to rank 2... Uh, <laughs> that's the... Uh, what is that? 374,000? Oh no, that's 3,746,554 misplay that I've made. <laughs> Herbert, two months since the last time you saw it, I'm still misplaying? You better believe it. You better believe I'm still misplaying. With a vengeance right now. Um, I think we go Lich King because that's a pretty good card. Uh, we have room for this, right? Yeah, we do. So our opponent already burned one of their Twisting Nethers. Oh, that is...
Wow. Wow. The misplay into the amazing top deck. Some people say people never change. You now respect those people. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. Much like our opponent losing their win condition. Or their rin condition, you might say. I'm sorry. It's the most fun. This is the most fun plane, and also sets up in the event that they twisting nether us again. Oh my goodness. Which is very, uh, distinct in what it looks like. That's well played. Well played. Hey, we could have made an extra... Could have made an extra water Ellie to get buffed up, but that's okay. Golden Steady Shot. OP. Oh, speaking of things being OP. Here comes Toki. <laughs> Here comes Toki getting us Halazeal. Now we can combo out with a Dragon's Fury for a more than full heal. Uh, our opponent's playing very conservatively, which is very scary. Uh, could they mill us? 8, 9, 10? They could if they triple hit this somehow. Uh, they could definitely... Oh, well, here comes the scary things. Okay. Okay. That is much more acceptable in my opinion. Now the question is, do we polymorph this? And I know that might seem a little silly, but this is a big part of their early game tempo. And we have now disrupted it and not wasted a coin, and we don't have a board full of 5-5s. Five <laughs> Deborah, Toki is fun. Oh yeah, Toki is... Oh my goodness. Top deck our other polymorph. Mm, what's better, a whole bunch? Or just one? Yeah, let's just get one, but maybe find a Lich King or something. Ooh, Zilliax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want right now. And let's remove that beast from the board. Uh, Zilliax is a pretty fun one. Not that we have other... Actually, we do have mechs to combo this with. Not that not that these mechs will survive, but... Ugh. Oh boy! Okay, so we are in for a beating right now, friends. Our opponent's going to have a whole bunch of eggs. They're going to be able to proc this now if we top deck to Polymorph there. Uh, are we going to overdraw? No, no, no. We're fine. Um, hey, Syndragosa. Long time no see, friend. I wonder if we pop this now. I wonder if we should have just popped this one to be done with it, but we'll see. Uh, Lan, if we get enough views and subs to earn a sustainable income, would I be a full-time YouTuber? Define sustainable. Uh, <laughs> um, I definitely have like some like rough numbers in my mind of what I could do, what I would need. But it, it, this is a hobby right now. I mean, I've been working on my... I, I wake up every morning, I go to the gym, and then I go for... Uh, my job searching uh, time every single day uh, between like, you know, manually searching for jobs, being on LinkedIn, doing all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, this is very much a hobby, one that I love and I hope I can do for a long, long time. And if it ever does grow to that, you know, like I feel like the amount of uh, the size of channels between streaming and, and YouTube that they need to be in order to stain, uh, you know, a reasonable, oh, that hurts. Um... Like a standard of having a certain standard of living. I think that's a reasonably high uh, number. Um, so I'm not sure that, you know, that's uh, reasonable to expect necessarily, but. Um, how does this, this death rattle is going to trigger last, right? Does this mean we lose our water Ellie right now? Maybe. Um, Ice Darkino, yeah, we're careful about the overdraw. Oh, yeah, and this look at this deck with Lich King and Syndragosa. We're going to have a lot of overdraw incoming right now. 
Um, Herbert, how's it going? Long time. No, actually, Herbert, we chatted a little while, haven't we? Uh, why is Zilliax good but Alakir bad? Okay, so the Alakir thing, I actually think Alakir's good, just so we're clear. Um, I actually really like Alakir. Um, and I know that is not the quote unquote popular opinion about our friend the Windlord. Um, I think we need to trigger this one. That's fine. I don't mind having more taunts. Ooh, look at this symmetry. Um, I don't even mind Alec here, to be honest, Herbert. I think the reason why Zilliax right now is seen as slightly... Slightly, like, borderline playable... Uh-oh. Well, we're gonna have to hit a Dragon's Fury pretty soon, friends. I think the reason why Zilliax is seen as somewhat playable is because of things like... Giggling Inventor. Because you're gonna have these mechs. And if you hit one of them with... That magnetic, it's just incredibly good. Um, I think it's basically that simple. Like, I don't know that, you know, we really need to, like, think about it too much more. Uh, but basically, I think that's the, uh, that's the reasoning. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, we can do better than that. Uh, hit, hit, hit. Now, should we guarantee these cleared? Uh, maybe we should have done something better. Let's do this. A Dragon's Fury, if you will. Come on. Oh, what do we need? That's a pretty big board clear. Um, and do we leave this one up? I can leave this one up. That was a pretty big board clear. Um, life Questioner, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Life Questioner, you actually did... Uh, you were not spoiling at all during the... Uh, during that uh, little bit of a run there, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, hello, hello. Um, we have been job searching for a little bit, of, a little while, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Herbert, you can't believe we're playing Control Mage for so long. I love it. I, I think it's. I think it's. I feel like I'm in most games with this deck, and I don't feel that all the time. I honestly, I have been loving Contr uh, Control Warlock. I just didn't feel like playing it right now because I'm only going to be on the ladder for a little bit longer. So I figured this would be the uh, the ideal deck for right now. Um, oh, look at them being so mean. So mean. Um, how do we want to do this? We want to. We want. We want it all, friends. Uh, we want it all. Reality. What are the chances we can high roll right now? We have one Polymorph, two Meteors, and one Flame Strike. So if we hit a four, we lose. So why don't we just do this? And then we'll see what's left. Everything's frozen, so why don't we just go face? And we can deal with trading next turn. Good plan. Uh, Debra, if you're interested in linking in... You have a uh, with some you have some recruiter friends. Very cool, and that's your background as well. We could link. You know what, Deborah? I'm not against it. There because of the PayPal was. Um, with the PayPal thing, it kind of gets out there. But I have taken those links down. So unless you look, search up old things, you won't see it. Um. I mean, this is a pretty clean flame strike board clear, but uh, Deborah, I mean, I would. Uh, I would trust you uh, in terms of some linking and actually looking into recruiters is interestingly enough is one of the things that I have been looking into recently and especially on LinkedIn. There's a lot of recruiters who are doing linking for their like is their is their business effectively is like helping other people on LinkedIn find jobs and stuff, which is kind of cool. 